Hi everyone. Cuteness is a powerful and universally recognized phenomenon that captures our attention and stirs our emotions. Whether it's the wide-eyed gaze of a baby, the playful antics of a puppy, or the round, fluffy features of a cartoon character, cuteness has a unique ability to evoke feelings of warmth, affection, and a compelling urge to protect. But what exactly is it about these features that triggers such a strong response in us? Today we're looking into the biological, psychological, and cultural underpinnings of this phenomenon, revealing why certain traits are perceived as cute and how they influence our behavior. Neotenous Features Many animals, including pets like puppies and kittens, exhibit neotenous features, traits typically seen in the young of a species. These features, such as large eyes, round faces, and soft bodies, are designed to evoke a caregiving response. When humans encounter these traits in animals, they trigger the same protective and nurturing instincts that human infants do. This reaction is a testament to the powerful influence of neoteny on human emotions and behaviors, extending our caregiving tendencies beyond our own species. These neotenous features play a crucial role in the human-animal bond, especially with pets. The perception of cuteness in animals encourages humans to provide care, protection, and affection, ensuring the well-being of these animals. This response is not merely an emotional reaction but is deeply rooted in our biology, driven by evolutionary mechanisms that promote the survival of the young. By evoking these caregiving instincts, animals with neotenous features benefit from human attention and care, which enhances their chances of survival and strengthens the bond between humans and their animal companions. Psychological and Neurological Responses Viewing something cute activates the brain's reward system, leading to the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and happiness. When we encounter cute stimuli, such as a baby or a fluffy animal, our brain responds by flooding our system with dopamine. This chemical reaction creates a feeling of joy and satisfaction, making the experience of seeing something cute incredibly enjoyable. This neurological response is not just a fleeting moment of pleasure, it is a powerful reinforcement mechanism that encourages us to seek out and engage with cute things repeatedly. This dopamine-driven response reinforces behaviors that lead to positive emotions, encouraging repeated interaction with cute stimuli. The pleasure we derive from these encounters motivates us to care for and nurture the cute beings we come across, whether they are human infants or adorable pets. This cycle of reward and reinforcement plays a crucial role in the bonding process, strengthening our emotional connections with those we find cute. It also explains why people are drawn to cute images and videos, often spending considerable time engaging with such content. The brain's reward system ensures that the act of caring for and enjoying cute creatures becomes a deeply satisfying and instinctive part of human behavior. Oxytocin Levels Interacting with cute beings, especially through touch and care, can increase oxytocin levels, often referred to as the love hormone. When we engage in activities such as cuddling, petting, or caring for a cute individual, our bodies release oxytocin. This hormone plays a vital role in promoting feelings of attachment and bonding. The surge of oxytocin not only makes us feel good, but also reinforces our desire to maintain close physical and emotional connections with the cute being. This biochemical response is a fundamental part of how humans form strong social bonds and develop affectionate relationships. Oxytocin enhances bonding and social connection, further strengthening the protective and affectionate response towards the cute individual. The increased levels of this hormone encourage nurturing behavior, making us more likely to invest time and effort into caring for and protecting the cute being. This effect is not limited to human interactions but extends to our relationships with pets and other animals that exhibit neotenous traits. The presence of oxytocin helps to solidify the bond between humans and their companions, fostering a sense of loyalty and emotional attachment that benefits both parties. By promoting social bonding, oxytocin ensures that the cute individual receives the care and protection they need, thereby enhancing their chances of survival and well-being. Media and Marketing The concept of cuteness has been heavily utilized in media and marketing. Characters in animations, advertisements, and products are often designed with exaggerated neotenous features to evoke the cute response. Large eyes, small noses, and rounded faces are common traits that marketers and creators use to attract attention. These features are strategically chosen because they trigger the same protective and nurturing instincts that human infants do, making the characters or products instantly appealing. By tapping into these deep-seated biological responses, companies can create a strong initial attraction to their offerings. This deliberate use of cuteness in design goes beyond merely capturing attention, it also creates emotional bonds with the audience. When consumers perceive a character or product as cute, they are more likely to form a positive emotional connection with it. This connection can lead to increased brand loyalty and a greater likelihood of purchasing products associated with the cute imagery. 
Additionally, these emotional bonds can enhance the overall customer experience, making interactions with the brand more enjoyable and memorable. By leveraging the power of cuteness, marketers can effectively engage their audience on an emotional level, fostering long-term relationships and driving consumer behavior. Cultural norms. Different cultures may have varying perceptions of what is considered cute, but the fundamental traits tend to be consistent. Features such as large eyes, round faces, and small noses are universally recognized as cute across diverse cultural contexts. These traits are deeply embedded in our evolutionary biology and elicit similar responses worldwide. However, cultural variations can influence the extent to which certain features are emphasized or celebrated. For instance, some cultures might place a higher value on specific traits or behaviors that align with their unique aesthetic standards or social norms. Social conditioning also plays a significant role in enhancing the cute response. Societies often celebrate and promote the protection and care of those deemed cute, reinforcing these behaviors through media, traditions, and social practices. From childhood, individuals are exposed to cultural icons, characters, and symbols of cuteness, shaping their perceptions and reactions. This widespread societal reinforcement ensures that the protective and nurturing responses to cuteness are maintained and passed down through generations. By celebrating and promoting cuteness, societies create environments where caring for and protecting the vulnerable becomes a collective cultural value, further embedding these instincts into everyday life. The Cute Aggression Phenomenon Interestingly, the overwhelming response to cuteness can sometimes manifest as cute aggression, where individuals express a desire to squeeze or pinch something they find extremely cute. This reaction, though paradoxical, is quite common and can be seen when people encounter particularly adorable babies, pets, or other cute objects. The urge to pinch cheeks or give a playful squeeze is not rooted in a desire to cause harm, but rather in the brain's attempt to process and manage the intense positive emotions elicited by extreme cuteness. This reaction is believed to be a way for the brain to moderate the intense positive emotions, preventing them from becoming overwhelming and helping maintain emotional balance. The concept of cute aggression serves as a regulatory mechanism, ensuring that the flood of affectionate feelings doesn't incapacitate us. By introducing a small measure of aggression, the brain can temper the strong emotional response, making it more manageable. This balance allows individuals to enjoy the feeling of cuteness without becoming overwhelmed, thereby maintaining a stable emotional state and enabling them to continue functioning effectively in other areas of life. The science of cuteness reveals a fascinating intersection of biology, psychology, and culture, explaining why certain traits captivate us and evoke strong emotional responses. From evolutionary instincts designed to ensure the survival of offspring to the intricate workings of our brain's reward system, cuteness plays a crucial role in shaping human behavior and social connections. It transcends species boundaries, influencing our interactions with pets and even our preferences in media and marketing. Understanding the science behind cuteness not only enriches our appreciation of these adorable features, but also highlights the profound impact they have on our daily lives and relationships. As we continue to explore this charming aspect of human experience, we gain valuable insights into the fundamental mechanisms that drive our emotions and behaviors, fostering a greater connection to the world around us. Until next time.